120 like that. It's very important. Right. The, the, the design water temp, if, does most everyone do boilers? Is that, is that, okay, good. So that's, that's my favorite thing. And he's absolutely right. The water temperature coming back to the boiler is going to determine whether you need a condensing boiler or not. If you're bringing back 160 degrees, that boiler's only going to condense at startup, and that's it. You're not going to have constant condensation. And we're not talking about condensation at startup. We're talking about continuous. So temperatures lower than 130, 135, and it depends on the humidity in the air. There's a lot of factors, but around 130 is your, is your number. If you need 180 degrees to heat your building, you probably don't want to bring it back at 120 because a 60 degree delta T is pretty tough for a gas fired appliance to take. If you're going to have a 60 degree across the boiler, that's quite a lot of thermal stress. There's a manufacturer out there that's changed their minds about advertising a zero flow boiler. Because somebody just said, well, if you have no flow, you've got no heat. You're not delivering heat anywhere. What's the point? So your boiler can take that, but it, it's a lot of wear and tear. So 30 and 40 degrees is probably about the highest that most boiler manufacturers are going to say to use.